Welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. We're going to do a toy review. If you are new to the channel, um, I go to thrift stores. I do online shopping, retail shopping for action figures, toys. Sometimes I'm looking for those vintage and retro t-shirts that I do sell in my store, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is part two to the Jewett City um, figure haul that I started the other day. Um, I actually had to wait because of what you guys will get to see. First of all, I want to say hello to everyone. All my cosmic comrades, welcome back. Um, all my cosmic family, my dark cosmic family, to the channel. I know uh, I do appreciate everything that has gone on. Now, I have not looked at my uh, YouTube in a couple days. Haven't posted until now. Because I reinvested back into the program here, or on this channel. And I'll get to that in a minute. Um, don't forget, um, like, subscribe, t uh, activate that, noti that uh, bell notification so you can find out when I upload new videos here on YouTube. Alright, so let's get to the meat and potatoes here. It's going to be a toy review, actually a toy haul. And we're going to be talking about something I actually invested, reinvested back into the channel. Got some new lights. And we're going to check them out. These are the UB size LED lights. Now, uh, again, I picked these up off of Amazon uh, for about $35. And I've been looking at my videos as of late. And again, they kind of have that yellowish tinty kind of vibe. And everyone's all bright and cheery on their videos because of the LED that LED lights that they use. So I said, you know, what? I'm going to invest into it. And I found uh, a couple of them. Let's go check it out real quick. You're going to see the studio magic over here. Here they are in the background. Got them all stand up. Came with stands. Pretty cool. I'm um, very excited about that. So we're going to change over the lights here. Kind of like the changing of the guards or when they decided to put LED light bulbs into the New Year's ball. So we're going to do that. We're going to see the difference and hope you guys see the difference. So now if you can take a look here in the background, um, it is kind of, well, on my monitor here, it is very yellowy in the picture here. I mean, it does what it, it does what it has to do, you know, when I got these figures. And again, this is on a brown background. And I'm like, you know what? I have to do the change. I got to change things over. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do lights, camera, action here. I'm going to, if I can do this correctly, I'm going to turn these two lights off. So we are going in complete darkness here just for a few seconds. And again, thank you guys for subscribing, following me on the channel here. And let's take a look at the new lights. Here we go. Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello. Check it out. It's a complete difference. And again, today we're going to do a review. Um, once I upload this, we'll figure out how it is. Now, again, um, with the LED lights here, let's take a look real quick. Here they are. They're very small. Um, let's do a little size comparison while we're here. All right, so just this one here is approximately... All right, what are we at? Uh, like four inches. So... Let's see if it's a little bit different. If you guys notice the difference, make a comment in our show here um, that, wow, I can definitely see the difference. Now, unfortunately, um, from I'm taking a look at the monitor here. This brown bag, the Zelda bag that I have my toys in, looks kind of like gray washed out here. So, again, all right, we'll see about this. Again, I, I picked these up, $35. If this works, this will be awesome. So, what I'm going to do, let me... Check out, and we're going to move this out of here. I still have the haul from the last time. we got the McDonald's toys in the background. But we're going to check out what we found at um, the Jewett City, uh, Jewett City Flea Market um, that I went to. Again, I want to say thank you guys uh, for liking, subscribing, um, activating the bell icon, and, uh, you know, especially checking out the Facebook link. Uh, to the uh, zone, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> to the dark cosmic universe. That was from a long time ago. I said the zone thing. My nephew's probably like, what are you talking about? Don't say that. Um, 
it is the dark cosmic universe on uh facebook so definitely give it a follow check it out um also i have an instagram uh, avian underscore savage one and uh also what else do we have for the um social media i've got the ebay store uh the ebay store has been popping i am so excited i have been selling a little bit of the shirts and that's what i decided to do to reinvest back into the dark cosmic universe now hopefully these lights are going to be beautiful one of the cool things uh in regards to these lights um and again i put everything all in these little baggies here um is that you can actually change the color on the background um with these little uh filters so you know i'll show you just kind of quickly what do we have in here so there's different colors so you get a blue you know you have a blue light uh, again these are plastic uh, we also have uh, orange. I think I saw yellow in there. Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, there is some kind of yellow. And again, you know, these are kind of cool. So you can change the background, um, give it some different filters, uh, and uh, really wicked cool. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, we're going to go, uh, this will be hopefully the new standard uh, for the set um, from now on. So let's hope that these are actually really wicked cool and they look really good. Please leave a comment in the uh, comments on this um, on this video if it uh, looks good. Um, do you like the old lighting better? You let me know. Um, I'm probably going to stick with the new lighting because I do like the LEDs. They're very bright. And uh, again, things do pop a little bit better. But let's get into the toys because that's what it's all about here. Um, here we go. So let's go check out the bag. And again, this is like um, I, there was a inside or sorry, inside um, the flea market inside the building. They had a person that was selling uh, loose figures for like a dollar, um, two for three. So buck, uh, sorry, a uh, dollar twenty-five. So I can't remember. Um, like two for three. And uh, again, most of these were dollar figures that I found. Now check it out. We've got some more. Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've never seen these ones before. And we've got the new Mutant Ninja Turtle movie uh, coming out next month. So, again, for picking this up for a dollar, pretty cool. And, again, you know I collect, like, the four-inch figures. When I saw this in the old grab bag of stuff, um, this particular figure is almost five inches. Or, like, just under five inches. So, pretty cool. This was an awesome pickup. I will add that to the turtle collection. It's not vintage, but you know what? It's a different style for the turtles, and, you know, I like that. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, you guys probably recognize this character, uh, Lex Luthor. And I've never seen this particular one. And again, I saw the outfit, saw the design, and probably what I'm going to do. Now, again, he's got some articulation that I'm not familiar with. It looks like he's got a ball joint in here, um, which is pretty cool. And this one, let's check it out. All right, so this particular is Lex Luthor. Again, these are like dollar figures that I was finding. And when I see dollar figures, I pick them up. All right, so he's just under five inches. So it's a little bit bigger scale than I'm used to, but that's okay for for a buck. I'm going to put my comic books over there. Yes, I'm back to buying comic books. Isn't that awesome? Uh, so I'll be taking a look at those, and I'll show what I picked up. All right, now this one I thought was really, really cool. Um, this one looks, I'm going to I'm gonna say, I think it's a Power Ranger um, figure. I don't see the markings on this, but again, when I saw this figure, Alien, of course, Alien-esque. Uh, I do not know what this character is. If you do, uh, leave a comment in the in the box below here. Of course, it's always just a comment to say hi. Now, Seashell was here earlier, just to let you know. She was checking out the new lights. I need to get a new stand for my, uh, for my tablet over here when I do my recording, because I'm still bumping into it, but we'll one thing at a time here. Um, but she was checking out the new lights. She tried to start, she started to um, chew on the cords. I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Again, these are all dollar figures. Uh, here is uh, Star Wars. And I'm not sure if this is Weak Way or if this is um, one of the other Skiff characters that was in there. But again, for a buck, didn't have any of the accessories, but that's okay because I like stuff like that. And again, you can see the difference between a uh, three and three quarter inch figure and those five inch figures in the back. All right, let's see what else I picked up. Uh, these are, or this one is, I think this is the, um, uh, these are the MX, or, you know, the, the bicycle or dirt bike ride, dirt ride, dirt ride, 
dirt riding motorcycle guys. Um, pretty extreme. Got the mohawk here, and in the back, like again, well, well done figure. And I do collect some of these. Uh, these at the MX, or you know the. And again, you can tell the difference as I go down. I'm gonna get closer. So if everyone goes, hey, I want to take a look at the figures, and I always do that. Here, check it out. You know what this is? Luke Skywalker for a dollar. Does not have his lightsaber, doesn't have his gun, uh, but this is the X-Wing pilot Luke. Um, really, really cool. And you know, and again, I am definitely saying I'm liking the new lights here. Uh, I can see a difference here. Um, when I play it back online, I will check it out. And of course, to go with Luke, we got Han Solo from Hoth. Again, from I think these were from the Power of the Force figures. And I'm not sure if I had this or not, but I picked it up. I went with my daughter and she was picking up some Star Wars figures. She actually got one. And I said, hey, I picked up some Star Wars figures. Would you like them? She's like, no, thank you. And I'm like, okay. Uh, this is from Fortnite. This is, uh, this is the Bigfoot figure. And again, for a dollar, I'm like, you know what? Pretty cool. Fortnite, whether you like Fortnite or don't like Fortnite, um, I got it. You know, I, I, get, I get your reasons why they don't like it. But, again, for a dollar, I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm not sure if I have that figure or not, so I'm going to have to look. All right, so Super 7. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger from the uh, the first movie. For a dollar. I did not have this one. I do now. And if you saw any of my previous videos, yes, please check out all the videos I have on here. Um, we're almost at, I think it's like 35, almost 35,000 views. So, again, for me, that's pretty cool. Um, great art, you know, not great articulation. It's got five points of articulation. So the arms, legs, um, the head goes side to side, which is really cool. And again, for a dollar, these things normally go for like 15 to 20, uh, depending on what series and where you find them. But I've been finding some really cool stuff. And speaking, um, I did get to go to Target, Walmart, and Best Buy. So you'll get to see a Best Buy haul. Um, here we go. Here's another dollar figure, and I forgot what series he's from, but it was an animated series. And I did feature these on the Dark Cosmic Universe over on Instagram, these type of characters. So I found another one that goes with that series, which is cool. So that'll be another addition. You guys get like a sneak peek before I actually get into stuff. Again, all dollar stuff. At the flea market of all places. And of course, we got something from the Goon Squad. It is from the Looney Tunes, Space Jam, the second movie. Now, I know you guys how you feel about it. That's okay. For me, I like it. He's got blue character, or excuse me, he's got blue skin. Looks like an alien, except he's got the sneakers on. And I can't remember uh, who this is as a real basketball star, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to add to the collection. And it's always a good thing. And again, he's a pretty tall figure. And we'll check out the size on him dun, 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 dun. got the ruler over here almost he's like five and five and a quarter and just all all right and the last thing in the bag here and again got these all for like a buck i'm like you know okay and i found this little box here and i said oh this is kind of a cool little diorama piece if i remember correctly it is a little mini computer inside here I was like, yeah, that works. Totally. Again, the person who I bought it from, the woman, she's like, I said, how much is that? She goes, a dollar. And I'm like, okay, you know, for some of the diorama pieces that I have picked up lately, um, they go for a little bit more than that. But you guys will get to see this. All right. Let's take a look and see what we got for comic books. You guys can already read this or actually see it. All right. Again, for a dollar. I was like, hey, Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon's looking pretty cool. Again, I never actually got to see the series. Um, this is from, what, Dynamite Comics? We'll take a keander through. All right, let me tell you. If Flash Gordon had this outfit now, which I hope he does, if they decide to do another Flash Gordon thing, yeah, I would say yes, Joe. That was, like, one of the things when I saw his outfit, and I was like, oh, yeah, why not? Uh, you know, again, this one's a little on the hokey side. Uh, again, if you modernize it, you know, like I said, like the one I saw earlier, um... Something similar to this. I think it's probably it's exactly the same one. Flash Gordon's looking cool. I've always liked Flash Gordon. Anyone, uh, everyone else out there who likes Flash Gordon, give me a jingle. Oh, wait, check it out. For a dollar. Uh, now, of course, this is the new Voyages. 
Now, of course, now take a look at the cover price, 75 cents. So, you know, um, but again, this was back in the uh, 80s. So it's, uh, you know, it, the price went above the cover price. But some of my favorite characters are on here. I see a Croyer. Um, I thought I saw a bug. Did I see a bug here? Oh, yeah, he's over here. Bug's over here. And I was like, ah, pretty cool. Definitely cool. Um, so I'll be taking a gander to this. And now this is the um, the pages on here. They got the uh, the paper. So when they printed on paper prior to the uh, the liquid um, paper that you see now for comic books, I'm like, heck yeah. There's uh, the space scholar Arcturus Ran. I believe that's who it is. So maybe put him over here. Again, found that. Oh, now this one's pretty cool. I was like, yes, Toxic Crusader. And uh, again, there's a new video game coming out for the Toxic Crusader for most of the uh, platforms that are out here. So good old Toxie, where is Toxie? Uh, I see the background of Toxie. So I'm gonna take a, take a peek at these later. And I've been waiting, uh, again, I opened kind of it, kind of them when I was there at the flea market. Oh, there you go. There's Toxie right there. Uh, I don't actually have a Toxie Crus Toxic Crusader. Um, I don't have a Toxic Crusader um, one or a figure. So, got to be on the lookout for one of those. All right, I'm going to... Eh, all right. So, check it out. This I thought was pretty cool. Ghostbusters International. Welcome to hell. And I think between the original Ghostbusters... I'm not sure if it was between or if it was going to be for the third... That they were going to do something like this so i think this is roughly or um this is going to be based off of some of the stuff that they were going to do originally for the ghostbusters uh for a movie and so i'm going to get a, take a look at that let me put this over here locking all the good stuff here and last but not least if you've been following my videos then you know why i probably picked this one up advanced dungeons and dragons i was like oh my gosh for a dollar and again, you got the TSR here. You got the Disney, I don't say Disney, um, DC um, logo. Check it out. So again, for a buck, I'll be checking these out uh, when I get a chance, you know. Um, just to let everyone know, so I have been a little bit on the busier side as of late. I'm actually putting more, I am putting up more shirts in the store. So um, we're going to definitely have some new stuff. And again, I've just started putting up some new stuff. I cannot say it more enough. Uh, that if there is something that you actually see guys uh, on in or in my store, usually I only have like one of one item. And again, it's just like one size. I don't have everything. I don't have all sizes. So again, it's kind of like, you know, potluck. But there's like 600 and I think it was like 34 uh, items. Plenty of stuff there. Got a lot of vintage, got a lot of retro. So check it out. And again, like I said, when I do sell them, I put it right back in the channel. And that's exactly what I did. So let's take a look at what we have for today's haul from last weekend over at Jewett City Flea Market. Got some uh, really cool comic books. And check it out. Got some more comic books over here. And we got the haul that was like right over here. All of these figures. Again, they were like a dollar each or like um, a dollar 25 or I can't remember what the price was. Um, I can't do my math now. But anyway, this is what we got going on here. Which was your favorite thing that I showed off today? And don't forget, I've got some more videos coming. Also, checked out. We checked out the uh, UB size LED light uh, video lights with adjustable tripod. And um, you know what? I'm gonna have to say these were pretty cool. Again, there's all the uh, the little filters you can put on there to uh, you know make the lights have a different tone to them. Uh, you know, I'm definitely going to say, I, I definitely see a, um, a difference. And I can't wait to check the video out. And you guys will hopefully be able to see this difference. And take a look at the background here. It looks so bright. It looks really, really cool. So, yes, I'm going to say this was a good purchase. Uh, I don't really endorse my a lot of stuff that I pick off of eBay. But you know what? Um, if you are looking for a inexpensive LED lights, now again... They're 100, I think they're um, 100 watts uh, each on each side. So they come with two, they're like 34 bucks. Um, pretty decent, you know, always like a little bit brighter, but uh, again, you can always add to it. So if I feel like, 
getting more lights, which I probably might do down the road, please, you know, like I said, um, I will definitely say yes to that. All right, everyone, um, that is my haul today. I'm gonna put this over here. That is my haul from the Jewett City Flea Market. Uh, again, this was the last of it. Bought some t-shirts. Those shirts are now up on, most of them are up in the store. I'll be putting some more up and that's why I've not done any videos. I was also waiting for these new lights to come in. They came in today, so thank you very much, Amazon. Thank you guys from, uh, was it uh, UB, UB Size? So one more time, giving them a little credit in there. I'm gonna be hashtagging them. Hopefully, uh, again, if there's something you're looking for, uh, yeah, you know, online is always a good place. I mean, I've gone to the regular stores because I wanted some new lighting. Um, but these seem to be working really well. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty happy with them. And again, um, you can also make the, uh, the the lights brighter. There's a different function on them. Uh, you can dim them if you want. Uh, so those, those are the good things here. So, yes, again, I told you guys I'd be reinvesting back into the Dark Cosmic Universe here on YouTube. And that is exactly what I'm doing when... The purchases come through. All right, everyone. So my name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. To all my cosmic comrades out there, to my cos my dark cosmic family out there, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and you know getting notifications when you activate that bell icon. And again, we are close to thirty five thousand views, um, and we are getting close to the two hundred and fifty fifty subscriber um, two hundred fifty. 250 subscribers here on YouTube for the channel. And once we get those, I will be doing a drawing for the alien figure. One lucky subscriber who comments on the video that I say, you know, to comment on, uh, will be receiving that alien figure uh, when I do the drawing. All right, everyone, again, my name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. To all my cosmic family, coms cosmic comrades, and everyone out there, stay cosmically insane, my friends. More reviews coming soon.